President Trump is preparing to leave the White House with that impeachment trial in the Senate looming. The House could send the article of impeachment to the Senate as early as tomorrow. The trial could begin on Wednesday, yes, Inauguration Day. Cecilia Vega has the latest for us. Good morning, Cecilia. Robin, good morning to you. So this president who seemed to relish his time in the spotlight is spending his final days in isolation. We have not seen President Trump publicly in six days, and he hasn't had anything uh, significant on his public schedule in that same amount of time except for a note from his aides who say that he is working from early in the morning until late in the evening, making many calls and taking many meetings. This morning, President Trump on the verge of his second impeachment trial, but his defense still in disarray. His personal lawyer, Rudy Giuliani, spotted at the White House over the weekend, said he was working on the case. But overnight, Giuliani now telling ABC News he won't be on the president's legal team after all, saying his role in the rally before the riot makes him a witness. He was among those who whipped the mob into a frenzy before they stormed the Capitol. Let's have trial by combat. The two lawyers who led the president's defense during his first impeachment also aren't expected to represent him this time. And the clock is ticking. With House Speaker Nancy Pelosi expected to send the article of impeachment to the Senate any day now, his impeachment trial could begin as soon as Inauguration Day. This was the most serious presidential crime in the history of the United States of America, the most dangerous crime by a president ever uh, committed against the United States. Democrats need at least 17 Republicans to vote with them in order to convict the president. Their goal, to block him from ever running for office again. But allies like Lindsey Graham pushing for the Senate to dismiss the case. Impeaching him after he leaves office is not only unconstitutional. From a Republican point of view, it would destroy our party. President Trump remains isolated inside the White House, his final days in office spent mostly alone. Described as a pariah in Washington, he's livid and foregoing all the niceties that a sitting president usually extends to his successor. A morning greeting at the White House, not happening. Same for a shared limo ride. In fact, President Trump is refusing to attend the inauguration altogether, the first president in more than 150 years to do so. There wasn't even a phone call to congratulate Joe Biden. Instead, the Trumps will leave town early Wednesday morning, hours before the swearing-in ceremony. The send-off, exactly what President Trump wanted, He'll be surrounded by uniformed military at Joint Base Andrews. There will be a military band and a red carpet flanked by troops as he boards Air Force One for the last time. There may even be an Air Force fighter jet flyover just as he heads to his new home, Mar-a-Lago. Now, in these final days, President Trump is expected to issue a flurry of pardons and commutations, potentially more than 100. A self-pardon does remain a possibility, even though his lawyers have strongly advised against that and privately have told others that they could quit if the president decides to go that route. And on top of all of that, TJ, our new poll shows that an overwhelming majority of Americans is opposed to this move of President Trump pardoning himself. You can see it right there. 68 percent say they do not want to see him do this. But we shall see. All right, Cecilia Vega for us. Thank you so much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.